In this short video, we'll talk about the centromeres. Centromeres are one type of structure present in a eukaryotic metaphysic chromosome. Centromere is the constricted region of mitotic chromosomes that connects the sister chromatid together. The centromere links the sister chromatid during the time of cell division and the centromere also demarcates the chromosome into two different arms, the short arm which is also known as P arm and the long arm which is known as Q arms. But what is so special about the centromere? Before starting, let me tell you centromeric kind of organization can be seen in the metaphysic chromosome. In other stages of the cell division, the centromeric organization is not high, highly visible. Now let me talk about the classification of centromeres. Depending on the position of centromere, they can be classified into several categories like metacentric where the centromere is along the middle portion of the chromosome, submetacentric where the centromere is uh, positioned a little bit below or above the middle point. There could be acrocentric where the centromere is situated towards one end of the chromosome. That means one arm is much bigger than the other one. And the last one is telocentric chromosome which is generally not found in eukaryotes. In this case, the centromere is located at one end of the chromosome. Based on sequence specificity, centromeres can be divided into two groups, regional centromeres and the point centromeres. Regional centromeres are very common in eukaryotes. In regional centromeres, the DNA sequence which are associated in the centromeres contribute to the function but they do not define the function of the centromere. But in case of point centromeres, the DNA sequence is pretty much necessary and sufficient to specify the centromeric function. Point centromeres are very much common in budding yeast, whereas the regional centromeres are common in other eukaryotic cells like mammalian cells. Now the point centromeres generally appear to be 150 base pairs in the budding yeast, whereas the regional centromeres range several uh, hundred KBs in eukaryotic cells. So there are a lot of differences between them. Now let's talk about the molecular composition of a centromere. So before centromere, we should understand the building block of chromosome is actually nucleosome, which is a combination of histone octamer and the DNA wrapped around it. So this is a basic subunit of actually chromosome. Now, what is so special about the chromatin which is present in the centromere? First of all, this particular centromeric chromatin is heterochromatinized. And uh, centromere plays key role in the division. Now, the chromatin in the centromere is extremely compact. They have specific kind of modifications in the nucleosome, which we would be talking about. So first of all, these modifications define the centromeric region and also there are unique histone variants present in the nucleosome in the centromeric region. Especially SENP-A which is a H3 variant is present or abundant in the centromeric region. Also centromere contains repetitive DNA sequences called alpha satellites. So these three are peculiar of molecular features of the centromeric region. Now there are several kind of modification that is happening in the centromeric region in the nucleosome. One such modification is histone H3 phosphorylation with the help of Aurora B kinase and this modification happens in the H3S10 residue which attracts protein like HST2P which actually can cleave off certain acetyl group from the H4 histone and this deacetylation leads to further compaction of the chromatin in the centromeric region and this is one of the way by which heterochromatinization can be achieved in the centromeric region. Now centromere is super important because when the chromosomes are segregating during the cell division, centromeres ensures that this segregation happens in a proper fashion and the way it does that by, by interacting with the kinetochore region which is a protein rich region around the centromeric uh, portion. Now if proper segregation doesn't happen then there could be detrimental anomalies. So the kinetochore 
is a protein rich segment around the centromere which ensures proper microtubule binding and tension sensing in this particular region. When the tension is proper, only then cell divides to pull it away. So there are three portions of the kinetochore, the inner kinetochore, outer kinetochore and the fibrous layer. Fibrous layer guides the microtubule towards this kinetochore region and allows the docking of microtubule in this region. So all these structures help in tension sensing. There are many proteins and kinases associated with this region which ensures that proper tension is sensed before the chromosome can segregate. In a later video, we'll talk more about the kinetochore and its role in the metaphysic in the anaphysic separation. For now, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook channel. Uh, you can also find notes in Instagram. Links are in the description. You can support the channel with super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, UPI, PayPal, etc. See you in next video.